We are here at Riso at ISS Long Beach. Joining me now is Hide Miyuma. Hide, tell me a little bit about Riso. Okay, Riso Kayak Corporation is a Japanese company. Our headquarter located in the Tokyo, Japan. And we established the company uh, in 1946, almost 70 years ago. Riso has been uh, manufacturing and providing unique solution with printing related products uh, to all over the world. Our major products are used in office, school, home and print industries. And tell me about some of the products that you have. What is your printing line all about? Okay, and this time uh, you may know is the Riso is the uh, one of them is the Furukara Inkjet office printer and second one is the uh, uh, duplicator. Our very high speed school duplicator. Third one the print Gokko. Maybe uh, as you know is a uh, very postcard printer is quite well. But this time very very emphasized is the uh, Gokko Pro for screen uh, print industry. One of them is the uh, Gokko Pro 100. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna introduce us to this right now. Okay. Okay. Let's unveil it. Hey. Yeah, this one is a quite well machine. Much more uh, professional printers for screen in the industries. You can see the figure of this machine much wider than the uh, this uh, Goku Puro 100. This name is the uh, QS 200. Uh, QS 200 means stands for quick screen. Okay, so the, this machine is the uh, three point, three new major point we have. One point is the uh, image area. Is the uh, uh, exposure image area much wider than the uh, Goku Puro 100? And the second thing is the uh, print precisely position. Precise position is the uh, we can print on the screen like that. Over there, you can see, even though four color, five color, and full color, uh, and this uh, multi color printing uh, can be print. Third one, okay, uh, this is a very uh, reliability and uh, also the uh, very durability. Our master film is the, you can see this, this one is the film over there. Is the, our uh, dedicated film is the, uh, can be print uh, to on the automatic carousel. Is the, you can see all over the, this show. Is the, very easy and also the quickly to make it. And what are some of the other features of this machine? Okay, yeah, Goku Pro uh, exposes an image by thermal technology. Therefore, it doesn't use immersion or chemical liquid, but uh, wash out water to make an exposure screen. So, Goku Pro series is really environment friendly. And in addition to that, Goku Pro is compliant to the two major world safety standards, both the UL standards and also EU safety standards. Uh, safety of the Goku Pro is guaranteed by authorized agencies. And I saw the results of the printing on this machine. We're going to bring in Ted Irvin now to show us a little bit more about what it can do. Okay, so Ted, tell us about the QS200. Okay, Nikki, we're very excited about this new product. It's the first time that we can do a thermal screen on a pre-stretched frame. And in the last 20 years of been selling thermal screens, one of the issues has been registration. Now we can take this image, or this mesh, put it on a Newman roller frame, and stretch it to 20 Newtons and get accurate registration for multicolor printing. Okay, so let's see how it works. Okay, I'm going to lay this down on our new thermal printer. Place it down. We use these magnets just to keep everything lined up perfectly. And then we go over here and we hit uh, the print button. And it goes to a, a, a print manager. And so any software is going to work, Corel, Adobe, a Word document, anything you want to send to it, it's going to work just like a normal printer. So we just hit print, and now the image is going to be loaded onto the uh, thermal head, and it will take about two minutes for the image to be exposed. The image size is 16 by 24, and we can put frames up here that are 23 by 30. Um, we do have different mesh counts. We have a 70 mesh, a 120, and a 200 mesh count, so we'll probably add to that down the road. And is this a special mesh that you're using, or is it normal? It is a thermal screen. The mesh comes in a roll that's 42 inches wide. You can get two screens across. In a roll, you get about 150 screens. 
if you're using an 18 by 24 frame. Tell me some of the other features that this machine, why it's so efficient and the capability of it. Well, with thermal screen technology, the, the beauty of it, there's no chemicals. So we don't have to wash the screens out, no water, no emulsions, no dark room. We're ready to go. This is the footprint. You have a table right here, a little four foot table, a press and a dryer, and you're in business. So it, it literally, to just the basic eye, just looks like it's just careening over the, the screen and leaving like a laser mark on it, and it's so precise. It is very precise. The, this thermal head is four inches, and what it can do is make four passes to open up the screen. Being a heat sensitive uh, coating on the screen, it activates with the thermal screen to open up, and in about two minutes time, as you see, we have a finished product. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it out and see the finished product. Okay, let me take it over here to the press and we'll print it. Okay. We have these screens already loaded that was uh, exposed just a little bit earlier, one of them being the same image that we just exposed. And we got a three color that's perfectly lined up, so let me show you how that works for you. We'll lay the first color down. We're just going to dry it real fast. The neat thing about the, the thermal screens uh, with this new QS200 uh, uh, thermal screen maker is the tension. And we can get up to about 20 newtons on a screen, whether we use a regular conventional screen or the Newman rollers, or we even have a different kind of screen where we can hand stretch it as well. Lay down the second color real quick. Dry that real fast. But the technology is wonderful. On the back side of this, when we're done, we can just take the screen out of the frame, throw it away, and no cleanup. So you don't have to worry about the chemicals, the emulsions, any washout. And the time saving is, is unbelievable. You know, I'm standing right next to this heater, and a lot of the heaters are so hot that it just makes you sweat just standing right next to them, but this is really seems like it's concentrated to where it needs to go versus flying out everywhere. That is very true, and, and we have this compact dryer that makes it very easy just to drop the shirt down when you're done, but here's our finished product. Look at that, looks great. Great color, perfectly registered, ready to go. Perfect, let's uh, dry it up. And you can see some of the other samples that have been done with the thermal screens. Uh, that's process printing right there, which is uh, also new to the thermal screen making capability. Okay, so we just saw the capability of the QS200. Tell me about the existing printing products that you are known for. A couple years ago, the um, Rezo came out with the GoCo Pro 100. Um, we've been selling it for the last three years here in the United States. It's a wonderful product. It's thermal technology as well. And we're just going to get it started here by just going to file print. And I just the same thing. It goes to a driver. Any software can work. Corel, Adobe. Uh, you can take JPEG images and send it as well, and the driver will make halftones automatically for you, which saves a lot of time. Um, the process takes about 60 seconds. We do have different mesh counts here as well. We have a 70, a 120, a 180, and a 200 mesh count. Um, the, the mesh comes in a width of 13 inches. The thermal head is 12 inches. Uh, when you put it on a frame, your image size is going to be about 10 and a half, but you can go all the way up to about 28 inches uh, long if you like to. You can print landscape or portrait as well. Um, the biggest difference is we're not on a pre-stretched screen between this and the QS200. So you do have to attach it to a frame. Once it's attached to the frame, you are ready to print. No chemicals, no emulsions, no darkroom. Very quick and clean. Again, the footprint is, is very small. And it's coming out right now. Yeah, it's coming out right now and I'll, I'll show you uh, as soon as it finishes cutting it the mesh. Um, and like I mentioned, you can go out 30 inches long on, on one screen if you like. But 
the beauty of the thermal technology as well with these thermal heads is there's no pinholes. So you eliminate any needs of, of touching up pinholes or anything like that. Yeah, and, and you can definitely see the precision in that from up close as well. So this machine, 60 seconds, the brand new machine, two minutes. It's high quality, affordable, fast, easy. That's correct. What more could you ask for? Save the environment. <laughs> Very good. All right, well, to learn more, you can go to Riso's website.